Ciao design friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Sara here and today I'm super excited because I'm going to take you through this amazing software that turns your Figma prototypes into real apps without writing a line of code. Today we are taking a look at Bravo Studio and I'm gonna walk you through how to recreate this fully functional app from a Figma file. This video is great for people who have heard of Bravo but never had the chance to dive deep into this tool. All you need is the Figma file that I've created for you and you can find in the description below a Bravo account and the Bravo Vision app. And that's it! But for now it's very important that you watch this video from start to finish and then you can do it yourself. Alright, let's jump into Figma! Let's take a look at the Figma file. So I've decided to create uh, this simple app uh, that collects uh, all my favorite uh, design, uh, business uh, and fiction books. Uh, I've left some notes uh, here, so make sure to check them in case uh, you get stuck. I got stuck many times before making this tutorial. I think it's quite common when you do things uh, for the first time. Now let's take a look at the file. So start, uh, starting from the beginning, we have the intro page, that is the first page uh, you see when you open the app. Then we have a left side uh, menu. And here, this is our home page. Then we have a list and detail page for each of the three categories of books. So the first thing you need to do is to create, is to link um, all the elements in the prototype mode in Figma. I've already done it, so you don't need to take um, any action, but uh, just keep in mind that uh, you need to do it um, before you import uh, the file into Bravo. The second thing we need to do is to add uh, Bravo tags to our elements. A tag is basically a text string that you can place in the layer name of your Figma file and after you import the Figma file into Bravo, the layer with a um, tag will turn into a dynamic component. So you don't need to know all the names of the tags. You can find everything in the Bravo Tag Master page of their, their website. By the way, Bravo has tons of resources on their website, so make sure to check it after this tutorial. For a Figma file to be compatible with Bravo, you also need to add containers which are uh, frames uh, that divide an app uh, into separate blocks uh, based on the behavior of uh, the design. So we have uh, three layers. The top layer, uh, which is uh, basically the entire frame. Then we have the second layer that we call container and uh, it will be populated uh, with data. Then inside uh, this container is our third um, element uh, that uh, contains images, text uh, and backgrounds. It's really important uh, that the container fits uh, the width of the page, otherwise it will look very messy when uh, you preview it. Now we are going to bring our Figma file into Bravo. It's very simple to do. Just um, create a link in Figma and copy the link in the project section in Bravo. Right, let's wait a few seconds. Woohoo! So our prototype has been imported in Bravo. We can see all our pages here. Now we are going to use the data library to connect our Google Sheet to Bravo. Oh, I forgot to say, you can find my Google Sheet by clicking on the link in the Figma file. So the data library is basically where we set up an API request. So think about API as a software intermediate that allows two applications to talk to each other. I know if you never heard of uh, API requests before, it probably doesn't make sense uh, to you, but hopefully if you follow what I'm doing, it will make sense at some point. We head back uh, to my Figma file and we open up uh, the Google Sheet from this uh, bottom. So here we press uh, the share link. Uh, make sure that you set uh, the settings to be editor before you copy the link. Now we're going to use a third party tool called uh, Sheety, which is uh, free to use. Uh, you, all you need to do is to set up uh, an account, 
and we create a new project then we paste our link and we press on create project cool so we can see that we have created three different uh, get requests right so now let's copy the first uh, link we head back to bravo we click on the data library and we create our first collection we can name this whatever we want and now we are going to paste the same link and create our first get request that we call list design and then we press send now we are going to select only the data we want first we're going to select all because we want all the books then what uh, what we've got here the book title the author and the cover cover and then i select uh, this one as well and now i'm going to create another request for the detail page which is uh, this one i'm going to copy the same link and call this uh, detail detail design and now at the end i'm going to add uh, this little string which uh, will allow us to connect um, the two pages together right so now under parameters uh, we're gonna write id and the value 2 and then we head back to the list uh, design and we make sure that the data matches uh, the same one so we go to select data and we change uh, the name and the sample value to match uh, the detail design page and now we are ready to press uh, send and now we select uh, all the data we want for the detail page which is basically everything right so here again we're gonna change the value Now, this is where the magic happens. We are going to connect or bind the data from the list and detail pages that we just created to our Figma file. Binding is the action of connecting data like uh, titles or images to an app element uh, like uh, text, uh, rectangles and so on. Now we head back uh, to projects. Um, and we are going to combine uh, the UI elements uh, from our Figma file uh, to the data that we just created. So I'm going to start uh, from the list page. Then I select uh, list design get requests. Now it's really important that you start uh, binding uh, the container and then you move on to the next elements. So go book title, author and cover and now I'm gonna do the same for the detail page I don't need to bind to bind the container for this but I'm gonna do the rest of these elements Now, this is super exciting for me because I'm going to preview my app in Bravo Vision to make sure it works. Yeah, so it's working. As you can see here, I've got my list of design books. And if I press off any book, I can see the detail page with a little description. And by clicking on the button, I can open my Amazon store. Now, if I want to, I could actually push this to the App Store in a few simple steps so anyone can start using my app. How cool is that? And that's it. Those are the main things that you need to get started today with Bravo Studio. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to get notified whenever I publish new videos. If you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments. I can't wait to see your amazing creations in Bravo. As always, if you need extra support, you can always reach out to me on Super Peer, where I'm currently mentoring junior UX designers from all over the world to prepare their portfolio, case studies and resume for a job interview. Alright, thank you for watching and thanks uh, Bravo for sponsoring this video. 
So I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!